What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicolai Espresso, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a little bit of a bug, one that I didn't really think too much of when I saw it the other day here, but my friend Jimmy or Chaos Silencer made a video on this here yesterday, and it got me thinking because I had seen something similar in my game whenever I was playing but I didn't really understand why. However, I did end up being able to reproduce it and understand why this happens, or rather really how to get it like that, but the entire reasoning behind it, why the game code points it in this direction, I'm still a little bit foggy on. But nonetheless, we're gonna be talking about the tactical bug glitch here, which brings up little mysterious icons in your tactical slots in your HUD in-game, and where your tacticals would be, they'd be shifted over into the lethals category. So it's a little bit weird in what happens here with it, but it's one of those things where it will pop up and you'll be like, what is that icon? I haven't seen that. But really the first time I encountered this was actually whenever I went into private match for something I can't remember what it exactly was or why I did it but I had my setups and class setups set up for the fact that I could use 17 class setups playing for the 700 kill challenge and the rules there that let me use 17 class slots but whenever I actually have these class setups still there and I have the default settings on it won't let you choose any of your class setups that you have here with it so you have your tacticals and your fists and that's really about it so that's all you have at your disposal here with this but something that you might notice if you have an ability of a specialist equipped is that whenever you spawn in like this it won't come up with the icon that actually has your progression bar and the ability you selected it will just be a blank status bar and the progression of it will be about a quarter of the way done to begin with but it doesn't move or progress at all as you spawn in and play throughout the game here now this is where it actually comes into play this little bug because once you actually get the time passed for your specialist to charge up or at least the ability of that instead of actually being able to hit the left bumper and right bumper or whatever you have on your controller to activate it instead of doing that it's going to take the icon and place it in the tactical slot here where your normal tacticals would be which is quite odd in my mind because it's kind of just like a little bug here and each individual specialist ability has its own icon but the thing that's weird about this and what gets me is that it's only the abilities, it's not any of the weapons. If you do this and spawn in with the weapons of choice of the specialist equipped, well then it'll be just like a normal specialist progression. You have the icon, the progression bar, all that good stuff. It's only the abilities here with this, which is what kind of gets me. However, this actually isn't the first time that we've seen this if we want to talk about this. Yesterday in the five things that showcase the old purifier, I was going through and I was watching some gameplay and seeing some images here of that and really what I noticed was that these icons actually showed up in those raw assets that were data mined here with it so it's something that is directly from the game code but we don't know why it's popping up now now I'd love to hop on the conspiracy train here of the 10th specialist but I don't know if I want to do that just yet however if that is the case then there is kind of a little bit of an explanation that I could have here as to why we'd be seeing this now and if that's the case well then I think that it could be simply defined as a way that the 10th specialist would be able to pull an enemy's ability as we know blackjack is supposedly going to have the ability of thief which allows them to steal anybody's active specialist from them so if somebody has a specialist active then they can just take that and use it as their own so pretty much rendering the person who initially used it useless and then pulling it over into Blackjack's tactical or lethal category of their specialist choice. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to take the spot of a lethal or tactical grenade, but whenever you think about it, how would you be able to visibly allocate what specialist would be what? How would you be able to choose it without seeing just the, say, icons or banners that say vision pulse ready, kinetic armor ready, scythe ready, whatever it may be, you're going to need some icons to actually visibly define which specialist is which here whenever you go and do something like this when you're pulling from 18 different choices in game. So that's something that I feel like if that is the way that they want to take it, that would probably be the most logical that these are being set up and brought up into the game code or rather live into the game code because they've been there since the beta as a way to visibly detect and describe what each specialist would be. But again, that's just all just in theory right now. 
now that's if we're hopping on board the 10th specialist conspiracy this could all just be one giant bug because like I said we've seen this stuff all the way back in the beta pulled from the raw assets and data files here from the specialist before they were really live so it could all just be a bug and I think that that is what it is but it is possible if we want to hop on that conspiracy train then maybe it does have something to do with the 10th specialist but that's gonna wrap it up I would love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below do you guys think that this is just a bug do you think it deals with the 10th specialist and have you even seen this before in your games say private matches of your own love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below but that's gonna wrap it up here today ladies and gentlemen drop a like down below if you did enjoy and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe We're on that road to 40,000 subscribers so every little bit does help and is of course greatly appreciated but my name is Nicole Espresso I'll see you guys later take care and peace